On first glance, Jackson Elementary looks just the way children remember. But with a closer look from the floor to the walls in the classroom, are reminders that this school year requires overachievers in public health. Principal Michelle Williamson explains about 75% of students chose the in-person hybrid model. So it's a small group of children, approximately average of about 11 students, no more than 15. Some class sizes are around eight students. So in this third grade classroom, the students will not be sitting side by side. It's actually color coded. So this is the AM student. This is the PM student. So it's staggered by every other desk. Some places off limits, after school sports, playgrounds and drinking fountains. We're asking each parent every single day to go through the screening questions with their child, take their temperature, and then not send their child to school if they exhibit any of the symptoms on the screener. And on campus, a unique labeling system will help guide elementary school children. Each classroom is going to be assigned a symbol. That symbol is going to stay with that student for the entire school year. That symbol will let kids know where they can sit, the toys they can use, and where each class can play outside to avoid cross-contamination. The better we implement this plan, the longer we have a chance of staying in school and staying open. And this symbol actually goes on each student as a lanyard and it even follows them when they go to the bathroom with gentle reminders. Have you washed your hands? Are you practicing social distancing? And even using the Jackson Elementary School song when they're washing their hands because it takes 20 seconds to get through it. In Eldorado Hills, Vicki Gonzalez, KCRA 3 News.